welcome everyone in this video i will show you how you will deploy an instance or vm instance in gcp cloud okay google cloud platform so let's start so simply i have logged into my panel and on that panel on the dashboard i just need to click on create instance okay after clicking on create instance we have a bunch of a bunch of options like which operating system you want which os you want which operating version you want how many ram which instance you are looking for blah 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 so many things okay so the instance name is instance one so i will keep it as it is and my region is a uh, us central one low and us central one a so because i will deploy this instance on my created vpc so i will say keep it as it is and in the general purpose machine family you have general purpose compute optimized memory optimized gpu so because we are doing just instance deployment so i will go with uh, e2 and my instance will be this e2 micro okay uh, now we good to go now uh, in the boot disk i will select uh, the operating system and which operating system i want so basically operating system is debian so instead of debian i want ubuntu in ubuntu which version of ubuntu you want so we have bunch of options uh, we also have ubuntu 21.04 so i will go with 16.04 uh, which is stable version 21 also stable stable version so i will just click on select and rest of the thing i will keep it as it is and but in the management i'll just click on networking in the networking i will select my own vpc so i just need to click over here and from the network interface uh, by default it's selecting the default one so instead of default one i'll say use hadoop security vpc so in the hadoop security vpc my sub network is us central one and primary uh, i will also keep everything as it is and now i will click on create instance okay after that uh, uh, next part uh, okay next i will show you how to connect to this particular instance okay uh, so once the instance is ready so we will uh, see how to connect to this uh, so right now without a key we will able to do the ssh so we will able to connect to that instance but if you want to connect from the outside outside the world or from the party so we need to create an ssh keygen using partygen okay so that i will also show you so what it's telling connection wire could not identify aware proxy fail okay so i will just close and again i will say ssh again we will try uh, if it's not work so uh, definitely we have to make some changes over vpc and in our firewall rules so meanwhile uh, this is the last time we are checking if it's not connect okay it's connect perfect and if i try to increase the size control shift plus plus so there is no okay if i go to the setting and go to fonts or okay don't worry okay so by the way we are connected so if i type lsb underscore release and hyphen a so it will tell the version so our version is ubuntu okay and the version uh, release is 16.04 okay now what uh, we will do we will try to connect with putty so uh, how you will uh, use putty to create uh, this step so the steps i will show you and uh, i'll just minimize that and i have my putty gen so i'll click on putty gen and after clicking on putty gen i just need to uh, go to the generate and randomly I, I just need to move the mouse so when i move the mouse so it will create uh, that file okay a public rsa file okay so just do it and now what i need to do is i just uh, need to copy complete path okay or before completing that in the key comment you need to write um, like what is uh, like ubuntu whatever the your username so i will cha i will type imran c h a u s h okay imran Chaush. i will type now i will copy that 
uh, and need uh, you need to copy after uh, writing the key comment because it, it will reflect over here at the end of the line so I'll just copy that and what I will do after copying I will copy uh, the file content so I will just copy and I'll just uh, go to my sublime text and paste that so I just need to click new and I will save this file as a key okay key and save that and paste the content and click on save okay so this is our key uh, so what I just need to do is uh, just copy that uh, or it's already copied so I'll just copy and go to my instance and click on instance and go to the edit so this uh, you can do it from the GCP console uh, GCP web UI and just uh, look at the SSH scroll 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 and once you reach the uh, you have zero SSH so from this you need to edit uh, that so you just need to enter public SSH key so what uh, the party is saying public key for uh, parsing into open SSH authorization key file so this is public key so we just need to copy and paste this if Imran Chaud is reflected over here so that thing uh, it's uh, everything is perfect now I will click on save so it able to save and I will minimize that and uh, what uh, I need to do is I need to save a private key so I will also save private key and without passwords yes and I will give name uh, in the download I have so I will give name Imran K-U-S-H okay Imran Chaush uh, and I will save that and I will also close this screen and now um, I will open the party and uh, in the party I just uh, write my session name is Imran Chaush Imran C-H-A-U-S-H and uh, i will uh, because i am uh, using the internal network so if i go with a uh, uh, private ip so that will also work if you are not uh, using the internal network so you just need to use the public ip so if i use public or private it, it doesn't matter for me because i am using the internal so i uh, for your better understanding i will use public ip and minimize it and in the Imran Josh I will paste that and in appearance I will change also change the font so bold 16 okay and in the data because we are using Ubuntu so I will write Ubuntu and from the SSH auth SSH auth I will browse and select my that particular key open and again I will go over here in the session I will save that session and click on open so if everything is okay so this uh, we will move to this is key now we have to accept that uh, no supported authentication meta methods available server okay uh, using you okay username is ubuntu uh, i have uh, did it wrong so in the imran chaush i what i need to do load and instead in the data instead of ubuntu i have to write imran chaush okay so this is mistake Imran C H A U S H. So it it will be honor uh, right now. It will honor. So go to session again and again save and click on open. So with the name of Imran Chaush instance, we will able to connect. Uh, if you like this video and if you uh, think it is helpful, so please make sure to subscribe to my channel and like my video. And if you have any queries, so you can comment. Okay, thanks for watching.